I think that even there, there's a higher shipment growth. Actually, some inventory level is a uh, decline slightly. Uh, so, and which mm. means there is some uh, still the remain inventory burden for the uh, you know especially DDR4 and also others you know the general you know server area. So the yeah so AI demand is very strong. The SK Hynix does a very good uh, good work on this. Uh, but it looks mm. like uh, it is a little bit difficult to offset the weakness of overall demand situation. And that's the thing, SK, because, you know, we can talk about AI till the, the cows come home, but realistically, even on their call, they were a little bit, you know, bullish about the, re- the replacement cycle coming through because we've seen weakness for the past two years. But is that what you're seeing in terms of channel checks? Because I just look at Microsoft's numbers today and they're continuing to see weakness on the the hardware side in terms of PC and the like, why would there be this expectation that, you know, people are going to replace their things when we could potentially be seeing a global recession? Uh, yeah, I think the company, the guidance is that they are very bullish on the AI demand and also the improving, uh, you know, supply demand balance in the second half. But the assumption is basically coming from some meaningful uh, production cut from supplier, which is not matured yet. So we we need to monitor uh, the the actual the such a meaningful production cut if executed uh, within third quarter. So that will be we will know the end of this quarter in Q3. NSK, uh, the management also talked about how DDR5, A2BM, so th- we're talking about AI computing related chips, uh, they would account for about over 20% of this year's of revenue. So once again, SK Heine is really highlighting its technological lead when it comes to a high bandwidth memory chips and so on. But I wonder how sustainable this lead would be because competitors including Samsung Electronics, are not just going to sit on their hands and watch SK Hynix move on to HPM4. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. I, I you know, the, yeah, I, I think the Samsung uh, Electronics adding uh, uh, capacity uh, for HPM3 uh, uh, for a second half this year, so the, we see more competition uh, ahead. So while SK Hynix has reading, uh, you know, they, they are reading the uh, technology in the early stages, you know, but the SK Hynix, they also maintain their over 50% of CapEx cut for this year. Uh, so, but considering that there is a shortage in the such AI-related uh, component demand supply, like DDR5 and HPM3, uh, such as uh, the, the, the increase in capacity from Samsung, that will be some, you know, we see some, some competition and uh, maybe the uh, pricing pressure uh, in second half this year and also early next year.